Hey, what's happening, guys? Norski here. Now, this is actually a new series I'm starting, and it's called Weapon Profiling, where I'll be going over some of the facts and history about guns from the game Battlefield 1. In this video, we're going to cover the MP18. The machine pistol model 1918, or the MP18 that we know it to be, was developed in 1916 by German small arms designer Hugo Schmeiser and it began production in 1918 through the early 1920s. The MP-18 manufactured by Theodore Bergman was the first practical submachine gun used in combat. It was introduced into the service in 1918 by the German army during World War I as the primary weapon of the stormtroopers and they were the assault group specialized in trench combat. Although the MP-18's production ended in the 1920s, its design formed the blueprints of most submachine guns manufactured between 1920 and 1960. Now what became known as the submachine gun had its genesis in the early 20th century and developed around the concepts of infiltration, fire, and movements specifically for the task of clearing trenches of enemy soldiers. An environment which engagements were unlikely to occur beyond the range of a few feet. In 1915, the German testing commission at Spandau decided to develop a new weapon for trench warfare, an attempt to modify existing semi-automatic pistols, specifically the Luger and the C96 Mauser, failed. As accurate aim fire in fully automatic mode was impossible due to the lightweight and high rate of fire of 1200 rounds per minute. So the commission determined that a completely new kind of weapon was needed. So the team of Hugo Schmeiser and Theodore Bergman designed a new type of weapon to fulfill those requirements, which was designed as the Machine Pistol 18. Full-scale production didn't begin until early 1918, though technically it's not the world's first submachine gun, being beaten by the double-barreled Italian Villar Perosa of 1915. In modern usage of the term MP18, is still considered the world's first submachine gun since the Villar Perosa had been designed to be used as a light machine gun on an aircraft before it was adapted to infantry use as a single barreled shoulder fired weapon in late 1918. The MP-18 primarily served in the final stages of World War I in 1918. At least 5,000 MP-18s were built and used during World War I based upon observed serial number ranges of captured weapons. However, it's possible that up to 10,000 were built for the war. Though production was outlawed by the Treaty of Versailles, they continued to secretly manufacture them into the early 1920s. And based on the total of serial numbers, they manufactured an estimated total of 35,000 MP-18s. Now, the original MP-18 was designed to use a snail drum magazine of the Luger artillery model pistol. This rotary design type of magazine held 32 rounds, and a special sleeve was required when the snail drum was used on the MP-18 to stop the snail drum from being inserted too far into the magazine well. After 1920, the MP-18 was modified to use a straight magazine, similar to those used later developed in the MP-40. The MP-18 could only fire in fully automatic mode, and its successor, the MP-28, received a modified mechanism with a selector for single shot or fully automatic fire. In the end, the MP-18 proved to be an excellent weapon. Its concepts were well proven in trench fighting. The basic design directly influenced later submachine gun designs and showed its superiority over the regular infantry rifle in urban, mobile, and guerrilla warfare. The German MP-18 was one of the first fully automatic machine pistols that was mass produced and was way ahead of its time. However, it finished too late for it to make a big difference in World War I. The MP-18 was a small gun that had as much punch as LMGs and was much more mobile which gave Germans a lot of firepower in such a small package. The MP-18 had such a huge impact in history though. It not only changed the way we fought in World War I, but it changed the way we currently fight today. Anyways guys, that's the video. If you want me to do more of these, hit the like button, and leave a comment on which gun you want me to do next. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you later.